climate change is definitely making weather around the nation worse and worse. But we begin here this morning with the news breaking overnight, a string of deadly storms that swept across the southeast. At least 24 people were killed in Mississippi when a tornado touched down just after sundown. Mississippi's governor says search and rescue operations are underway and that emergency crews are surging to the areas hardest hit by the storm. But getting a clear picture of just how damaging the storm is won't come until daylight. The system marched through Louisiana, through Mississippi and into Alabama, delivering twisters, huge hailstones, heavy rain and damaging wind gusts. The storms are stretching into the Midwest this morning and could cause problems from the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes up into the Northeast. Omar Villafranca is in Silver City, Mississippi with the very latest. Omar, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. We knew that we were getting close to where the tornado hit because it was getting pitch black. And many of the communities where the tornado did hit, they are without power. We brought generators so you're able to see what we are able to see. And this is what we're seeing. Homes like this behind me here missing their roof just next to it. Cars have been spun around and, and wood smashed through the vehicles. We're starting to see down trees, power lines that are splintered, and we're expecting it to get much worse when the sun comes up. Tornado! You're out there, right? Massive tornado! Just before 8 o'clock Friday night, a storm system ripped through Mississippi, producing a tornado that touched down, causing catastrophic damage to communities across the state. In Rolling Fork, Mississippi, around 60 miles northwest of Jackson, what were once buildings are now piles of scattered debris. The twister moved northeast, devastating other rural communities. Officials are pleading for help. We got uh, multiple homes damaged. We got people not accounted for at the time. Um, probably tomorrow we have a, a full count on the damage and the people that's not in place. Like every trailer in this town gone. Roger Cummings says his nephew was killed in the storm. Cummings rushed back to Silver City after he heard the news. They said it stayed on the ground for 40 some miles. Rolled up all the way through here. Forecasters have been warning about this outbreak of severe weather for days, even launching a weather balloon on Friday. Everything seems to be coming together in this location this evening uh, for a potential uh, outbreak of severe weather. The deadly twisters come on the heels of damaging storms on Thursday and Friday. In southern Missouri, a car with six teenagers inside was swept away by floodwaters. Two did not survive. And at least two tornadoes swept through North Texas Friday morning with winds of 100 miles per hour. Eric Huntley dug through what was left of his home. As soon as I got the alert, I, I went to go look outside. And then I heard the moan. And I'll never forget that sound. At last check, around 16,000 customers are without power, but the main concern is finding the victims and the survivors and people who need help and trying to get it to them. But of course, as we've mentioned before, we won't have a better picture of what this looks like until the sun comes up, but it's not good.